So, should I change to an aftermarket cam like one of these two with different specifications? Well, this is where the drivability issue begins to surface. Perhaps you've gone to a local car show where the owners bring their tricked up, built up muscle cars. Okay, these cars are beautiful. The owners have every reason to be proud of them. But nonetheless, at events like these, you may notice two things. First, in the morning when the cars first arrive, they're all warmed up, they're off their choke circuit, and when they're idling, they're idling the way they're supposed to idle. And they're going, we refer to that as a lopy idle. Okay? And that's, well, they do that. If we go there at the end of the day when these cars are trying to go home, they're cold, they've been sitting all day, sitting there like that, and they're going to try to start them. And sometimes you hear them going, nya, 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 and then bang through the carburetor. Or they'll try them again, nya, 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 and pow through the exhaust system. And sometimes they'll just crank and crank, nya, 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 nya. and sometimes when they do catch, you'll hear the guy playing with a gas pedal trying to keep it going. So it's, nya, 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 brum, 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 brum. and he goes on and on. And well, those inconveniences are acceptable to the owners of those cars. But ask yourself, if you were out shopping for a new car, would you want to buy one with a lopy idle? Would you try to buy a car that has trouble starting? No, the drivability is poor. So often the reason and these two drivability issues come along is the cam. The people who own these cars understand that and they're accepted these trade-offs and you need to understand what they are so you can do too. Now let's talk about the rough idle for example. We're going to unfold a few things here. To do that we need to understand what this tool is right here. This is a 384-910. It's a degree whirl that we sell here at Moss Motors. This is an inexpensive and effective tool and it's indispensable if you're going to do any serious work on your engine. Now to use a tool like this we have to understand two things. First of all, most of the numbers that you're going to hear about when people are talking about camshafts relate not to the camshaft but the numbers are taken down at the crankshaft. So this, this wheel goes on the crankshaft. Secondly, and I've got an exploded view of this wheel so you can see it here. Most degree wheels go from 0 around to 360 degrees. This one doesn't. This goes from 0 to 90 to 0. Back to 90, back to 0 again. What's that all about? Well, this 0 is top dead center. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees after top dead center. Down here we have 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees before bottom dead center. 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees after bottom dead center and 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees before top dead center. Now, what does all this come to? Well, remember when you were in high school shop class? They told us that the piston will be at its top and her compression and her firing stroke, so she's going to fire, there's an explosion. We we're told the piston will go down, the crankshaft will go around, and we were told that right about down here at the bottom, the exhaust valve was going to open. Then we were told that the piston would continue traveling up, pushing the exhaust gases out, and somewhere by the top, she would close off her, her exhaust valve. Well, we're going to find it in a moment that while that's nominally accurate, it's not accurate enough. Inside these engines is a very dynamic series of events going on. A camshaft or any other part can't wait for something to happen to go on to the next thing. These have to be proactive. They have to know what's about to happen and start things early. In our next video, we're going to find out that we don't open the exhaust valve down here at all. And we're going to find out why in just a moment.